Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to this video where we are actually going to sit down and have a relaxed makeup time. I will also show you this palette which I got from uh, XCX Cosmetics which is a US based indie brand and this is the 420 palette and considering the time of the year I figured this would be probably the perfect day to use this. I have actually done already two looks with this palette and at the end of the video I'm going to show you the looks and pictures and there's also going to be a review part for this beautiful product. Okay so anyway if you're interested then watch the video till the end because there I'm going to talk about this. Okay, so I'm also of course going to use it today on camera. I got this in PR from XCX Cosmetics. I'm so so grateful because seriously, this is a beautiful palette. I mean, like look at the color scheme. Look at the color scheme. It's so beautiful. And if you are into greens as much as I am, yeah, just saying. Okay, also this video is in collaboration with Angelica Leomar, who is a YouTuber based in Sweden and I've collabed with her before but not just with her, it was a group collab beforehand and uh, I'm so so glad that we get to collab now together, just the two of us and what we're going to do today while we're doing our makeup is, and by the way we're all just using random makeup whatever we want to use. This is not really about we're just using this and that and that, which is using whatever we want to but what we're doing is we're talking about makeup styles maybe also fashion styles whatever we like what we don't like things like this because uh, we just thought that could be super interesting to talk about you know to see a little bit what our preferences are and what not maybe you know so yeah in connection to that I have already written a list let me just oh, <laughs> show you because as you know I'm still writing my own list I am just that kind of a girl so yeah because I'm filming this now it is something like 4 30 in the morning and seriously brain function it's not has not reached the highest level yet so it's good that I have a list otherwise it is, mm, yeah okay so once you're done here then please feel free to check out Angelica's channel because she's also doing reviews she's doing very very fun content also she's a very very calm person which is really really nice and uh, yeah maybe it can just be also a very relaxed place for you to hang out so please check out her channel and if you want to subscribe to her because that could just be great because you know we are all a very loving bunch here in our little tiny tiny corner of the beauty community. Okay if you have just found me I'm Leora I'm a makeup artist and stylist usually you do not see me like this without makeup and it's kind of weird I have one eye done with primer and one is undone. <laughs> It is how I do my makeup or how I start out doing my makeup. So if you want to see the finished styling and the finished look and all of that then please watch till the end because for the review part I'm going to have my finished styling. This is my pyjama. I've just tucked it in so it doesn't slide over my shoulders because you know that's not what we're doing here. So uh, yeah, anyway this is what we're doing and uh, I hope that you'll enjoy and with that we'll just go in the video okay so yeah let me just zoom you in and um, yeah uh, I was in the middle of saying <laughs> if you're new here then of course uh, please also check out my channel and um, see if you like it here and if you do then by all means this is too close then by all means uh, subscribe to my channel because that would be wonderful also if you want to see more looks and stuff like that all my links to my social media are in the description box so you can see what I'm all about because I'm kind of liking makeup Let, let's put it that way because it's also my job you know Okay, so let us go in. Let me get my list. Let me get my list. I think I'm going to start with makeup styles. Talk a little bit about makeup styles while I'm going into the palette. And um, and if I still have time at the end, I'm also going to talk about fashion styles, okay? So I think what I'm going to do today is I want this to be a darker look because I have done already uh, lighter looks with this palette, uh, which you're going to see in the end, of course. So I think this should be a dark look and I think I'm going to go in maybe with Devil's Lettuce. Let's just, let's just use that as a transition shade, shall we? <laughs> Okay, wait, I have to dab out the creasing because of course by now everything has creased here because I'm a human apparently and you know stuff happens. So let's talk, let's get my list. 
what's on my list okay let's just start with bridal makeup okay um i as a makeup artist of course i do bridal makeup on that's basically most of what i would be doing as a makeup artist right now i don't have a lot of clients because um people don't really need so much makeup done because of the pandemic and stuff you know so i'm basically not really doing that part of what I used to do but anyway this is of course probably the part of a makeup, a makeup artist's job that is the, the biggest the biggest of, of everything you're doing um, unless you're of course into special effects makeup and and doing it like for musicals or for I don't know what for um, for TV when you're doing gunshot wounds or things like this for example you know um, but that has never been part of my thing i actually uh, tried to take a course for special effects effects makeup and after the first lesson i was like no no but no this is not for me you know um which was kind of bad because i couldn't get my money back but uh, i knew that this is not gonna be for me and i would never be interested in it so um yeah it was just not for me okay so bridal makeup is it's just a business part of my life. It is not really what I'm doing for myself or what I'm loving for myself, obviously, because this is not usually how brides look. Even though, if I would get married again, I would maybe also look different. I'm just looking for a brush that, no, this is not the one, this is the one. Um, I think I'm gonna go in maybe with OG, maybe with this one and blend this out a little bit. Let's just see what this does or maybe I'll go in with Kush I don't know but for now let's go in with OG yeah so bridal makeup again I don't say that I'm not liking it I think it looks beautiful if it's well done it can look super super beautiful I don't like these kinds of uh, brides that look like a plastic dolls you know um, I think that is just not I don't know. I personally feel like that is not um, a makeup done well when you turn into some kind of fake looking bronzy statue or something. But uh, that is just my personal opinion. So take it or leave it for what it's worth. Um, but in general, I think neutral makeup is actually super, super beautiful. You know, it's just not what I'm using for myself um, on a regular basis or on a day to day basis. Okay, next one is HD makeup, which is high definition makeup. This is used for um, TV or big screen makeup. It's supposed to, of course, um, make you look flawless for a long, a long time, you know, because shooting sessions are, of course, long. <laughs> you have long days when you're shooting um, on screen or whatever. Um, I have not done that. I've not done that, so I don't know how to... How to uh, how to do it? <laughs> how to do it? It is very very hard here in my country to get into that part of the business because usually the few places who do or the the few people who have the monopole in that in that part of the community they basically appoint the people who come after them. You know, so it is a very very close knit community in my country. So I don't know how it is in uh, you guys' country countries. I I have inquired about it because it is a good and stable income compared to what I am doing here but um, yeah it's also not really for me I would have just done it in order to have a safe income where you know there's nothing bad about that but yeah so HD makeup never done it I don't know okay airbrush makeup I have done um, it's very very interesting as an experience I also feel that it looks really or it can look really really nice if you know what you're doing but I it's not for me because I love my brushes I love to work with my hands and my brushes and not necessarily with a machine you know so um, that is just my preference but I do believe that it looks really really nice when I was studying to become a makeup artist we actually did air airbrush makeup also um, to turn someone into, I think it was like a Japanese kind of a look and it looked spectacular, but I 
it, it's not just what like what I want to do you know then my next thing is a matte makeup all matte makeup okay which also includes eyeshadow of course foundation lips everything matte okay maybe besides the highlighter but you can also highlight your face with mattes you know just saying it is not going to be as striking but it is possible so I'm not too much into that I honestly love everything that sparkles and shines also on my lips I love a stuff that is high shine that is glossy that is sparkly so again also that is not going to be for me but as a makeup style I like some items in my in my makeup application to be mattes. Um, do I have to have them as mattes? No. You know, it's just, it happens to be that way because th these are the products that I have and that I use, but it's not like, um, because it is what I want to do. It's just because I happen to have those products. Then um, minimalistic makeup or ne uh, like super, super natural makeup is my next makeup style. And um, <laughs> I always thought that uh, basically when you do a minimalistic makeup, you don't do not need to know anything like really seriously. But that's not true. You actually have to be really, really good to make um, a minimalistic makeup look like you have no makeup on. You know what I mean? Uh, let me just go into Sativa, this one, and I'm going to sort of uh, still blend this out a little bit further up here. Yeah, so anyway, again, that is also not my makeup style because obviously <laughs> no words needed, but um, yeah, it, it's just not me. Do I know? Am I very, very good at that? No, because I'm not practicing it. Like, um, I have done a few makeup looks on like um, girls for bar mitzvahs and stuff um, which is of course around their 12th birthday and um, there I have gone into a little bit into that direction but again girls at age 12 don't when they come to a makeup artist they want to be made up they don't want to be made up with looking like they're not <laughs> you know what I mean yeah because they know already what they want and how they want to look and they want to look more adult and they want to look this and that and the other thing so um I have really not a lot of experience with uh, minimalist makeup because it also never had my heart obviously so yeah if you want to hire me for a very bold look go right ahead okay shimmer makeup is definitely more my thing I think I'm, I'm just going to mix shades now. I'm going to mix Sativa and OG. Uh, OG? OJ. No, OG. <laughs> Sorry. Struggling with the, with the alphabet. Yeah. OJ is, is, is orange juice, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that is meant with that shade name. Okay, so shimmery makeup is of course another style um, that is more my thing. I would like to have shimmer all over. Um, Obviously, that, that is shimmer and glitter and all of that is absolutely my piece of cake. Okay, I think what else What else could I do? You know what? I'm also going to take Kush. <laughs> I'm just piling on the greens and I'm going to place that between the lighter green and the darker green. Sort of, you know, on the edge here. And then I'm going to go in with the black. Okay, next style is smoky makeup. Absolutely my thing. Absolutely my thing because um, traditionally smoky makeup is of course uh, using black, uh, an overwhelming amount of black and blending it out with brown. And um, But you can do smoky makeup with any color, you know? It's just that browns and blacks are most known and is the most traditional way to do smoky makeup, but you can use any color you want and uh, to uh, achieve basically the same thing, just then more colorful. And I think that is amazing and I love smoky makeup like crazy. And basically, in a certain way, uh, this is basically also what I'm doing every single day, mostly, you know? Kinda. <laughs> Yeah, okay, then winged out cut creases, of course, uh, I don't want to say I'm a specialist in that, but I'm pretty good at doing that. Um, and I also think that it suits my face a lot, and um, if you are new here and you have not, never seen me like this, I'm sometimes also on camera with winged out cut creases, and of course uh, you will find it close up on my Liora Cosmetics Instagram, which you will of course find in the description box so uh, you can just browse around there and see uh, the winged out cut creases that I'm doing which is basically you know these 
<laughs> yeah really really liking it um i just need for me personally i need um a, a certain amount of self security or something i don't know if that is um if that is a word to wear them i cannot wear them every day every day you know i need a certain mindset and i need a certain feeling in myself to know today i can take it because it's it takes a lot of energy to wear them and also you need to be quite sure of yourself because i'm i'm wearing my makeup not for youtube this is how i'm getting ready and this is how i stay all day and this is how i do my grocery shopping and my everything going to the doctor and whatever you know so that's why when you are with a super colorful winged out cut crease you know already in the morning that everybody and their dog and their grandchild and their ancestors and everybody will stare at you you know so you just need to know. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with hot box. Now I don't know anything about this. What is a hot box? I have a feeling I know what is devil's lettuce and I don't think it has to do with salad. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> As you probably know, I've said it already a lot in my videos that I have no connection to any of this. So it has never been part of my life. I really like those palettes though that come out in connection with this whole 420 date. And um, and that's why I'm enjoying them because they always give me greens and greens is my most, my most favorite color scheme when it comes to makeup. It's definitely my, my purest joy. <laughs> so, Anyway, if I come across as very ignorant, then it might be because I am. And I'm not ashamed of it. It's just what it is. Okay, let's go on. Half cut creases, of course, also. I think the whole concept of cut creases for me works super, super well. Might also be because, you know, I don't have hooded eyes. I don't have any, like, I, I can do basically any makeup style without, um, running into problems that I, I, I can do it or something, you know? And I also feel like I'm pretty adventurous when it comes to like what I want to try, even though I do definitely have my favorites that keep coming up. Let's, let's put it that way. But I think that's just because I'm human and that's what basically every human does. <laughs> Okay, Halo Eyes, also super, super beautiful, love it, do it a lot, I think it looks beautiful. Um, of course, that goes also very, very much into the direction of a smoky eye makeup and basically just putting a halo on top, you know? And I think it is a very, very beautiful style to do. Plus, um, I think that also works for a lot, a lot of people, no matter really how your eyes are set in your face, you know? I think at least. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in more with Devil's Lettuce, uh, <laughs> the salad ingredient. And um, what else do we need to talk about? Okay, of course, different eyeshadow colors and placements on each eye. Um, I have never tried that. Like, for example, if you have um, blue here and purple under your eye, and here you have the purple on top of your eye and the blue under your eye, you know? It's basically you're using the same idea but switched around, for example. Um, I... <laughs> I've never done it because I do makeup for my real life and it's already sometimes it feels already bad enough that this is how I'm going out and this is how I meet the principal of my kids in school and you know what I mean um, but uh, then walking around with eyes that are like made differently in like different colors or different styles or whatever uh, I don't think I can take that honestly I have not done that if I would ever have the luxury of um, just doing a look and then taking it off, I maybe would. But other than that, I don't think that is something I can pull off, you know? Also because I live in a community that is quite religious and I'm already the odd one out, like seriously odd one out. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone would understand me anymore. Um, besides that, neon makeup. Neon makeup, I tried it. I'm not too much into it, honestly. What I do like about neon makeup is um, neon accents. For example, doing a pretty, maybe not even understated look, but um, a look that is pretty predictable, even super, super colorful, but kind of predictable, but then have a neon yellow or a neon green or something as an inner corner highlight, for example. Or 
but I also really really like what is amazing just haven't found the right products to do it yet um, to do a neon liner like a winged liner with neons while using I don't know a very very normal normal for me a makeup color you know like something like this <laughs> and then use a for example if I'm using this as an example um, do this look and then have a um, neon yellow winged out liner for example okay so um, that that can be super super nice yeah so am I still blending apparently I'm still blending because sweetie if you don't know I'm a blending addict and I can seriously sit here for 40 minutes and blend out one eye that's why I get up at 3 30 in order to be able to do that because otherwise I will just not be happy I'm I'm too <laughs> addicted to blending it's my yoga Let, let's put it that way okay so we talked about neon makeup then uh, glitter makeup I think <laughs> If you know me just a tiny little bit you will know that I'm absolutely up for that really really liking it I just did um, the other day maybe if you go back into my in my channel maybe a week ago when you're seeing this on release I had a collab with Steph Stephanie Turner here from YouTube and um, we spoke about why we love glitter makeup so in case you want to hear me talk about glitter because there are not a lot of youtubers who actually are into glitter and who openly admit it and who are proud of it <laughs> because everybody is poo-pooing glitter um, if you want to know about my glitters and my favorite formulas as of right now and all of these things then feel free to check out that video okay then um, over the top blush okay that is a definitely a makeup style that I've seen around quite a bit um, I have to say well I have to say <laughs> over the top blush doesn't mean just over blushing here it is also you can put blush here or on your nose or on your chin you know things like that and I have to say I'm not a fan I especially when you put it on your nose I don't know why people do it because seriously it looks like you're drunk you know um, I think it is not not pretty and I think it's not flattering but of course you know everybody has to make their own decisions about how they want to look or what what their preferences are so that's fine it's just for me it's not you know I do like blush a lot even over blushing and I kind of have to also over blush it just doesn't look necessarily that way here on camera but because of the lighting and everything I kind of have to overdo it a little bit because if I would do it um, gently it would just not uh, come across on camera you know might have to do with my camera settings not being the best I don't know because I don't know anything about stuff like that I'm just turning on the camera and hoping for the best you know <laughs> so yeah um, but over, you know, in general, in general, this over-the-top blush, when it comes to to nose and chin and wherever else that is not on the cheeks, don't really like it. It's not really vibing with me too much. Okay, and then floating eyeliner. That is something that I have not done yet, have I? I don't think so. Floating eyeliner is basically when you're doing an eyeliner um, that is up here, you know like up here over the crease and either going out or not even and sometimes you can do one that is like this and then also one that is here and then they meet here you probably have seen that on Instagram and in other places let me continue the look because this is ridiculous um, I think I think the obvious choice would be hybrid which is this one this one here um, just gonna pick this one up and put it on my lid um, okay, what's the next one? Um, floating eyeliner, glossy high shine, a glitter and multi-chrome lips. Okay, that is definitely not only a makeup style, that is my preference, you know, because when it comes to lips, because I haven't really spoken about lips yet here in this video, um, I definitely have that preference that I really, really, really do not like matte lips because I don't think it looks uh, flattering on me. And... Um, the thing is it can look on on very nice beautiful lips full lips and a young women sorry but yeah it, it looks good but you know the second you're not like 16 till 21 I don't know it 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 just I don't know it just feels like everything that is glossy and juicy and and like that just makes you younger and more vibrant and more 
like the juices are still flowing, you know? And that is kind of what I want to do, you know, because, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, matte is absolutely not my preference when it comes to my lips. Also because, especially with a matte liquid lipsticks, they separate here, you know, and then when you when you see it on the posts or um, on the website or on, on Instagram, you know the models, usually first of all it has been applied freshly, then also the pictures have of course been worked on, you know, and usually they have their mouths closed, but um, you do not see them two hours later once they have talked, you know, and then you have the separation line which just looks stupid. It looks stupid, sorry, you know, so I don't want that for myself. <laughs> so that's why I'm not into it at all and I like, I like velvet formulas, I like um, super high gloss uh, or high shine formulas, all of that I do like, but a matte is just not, not my thing. If it is leaning matte, but it is still like a velvet formula, that's fine. But other than that, just not for me. Okay, so these are the makeup styles that I chose to talk about. I, of course, there are more. Definitely there are more. Let me just do the other eye off camera and then I'm going to come back and do the under eye area with you. And then maybe we can talk a little bit about a few fashion styles that I just wanted to mention. Okay, sweeties, this is how far I've come. I have, of course, done partially my face or basically, you know, the contouring and all of that. Now let's get back to the list and also, of course, do the under eye area. I've also prepared my lashes. Lash glue is drying so I can put them on at some point soon. Okay, so let's also talk a little bit about fashion styles and stuff like that. What I like and what I don't. Thing is, though, that I don't really care. <laughs> And before you click out of the video, um, it is really, wait, let's do some makeup at the same time. Maybe let's go for faded, like that. This is like the cooler brown in the, in the palette. And let's just put that now, of course, on a set surface. And I'm going to then basically have the, the traditional smoky eye that we spoke about beforehand, you know, with the brown and the black. I'm going to have that under my eye because I thought that would be fun, you know, to sort of mix the traditional with the Leora. <laughs> yeah, that's traditional Leora. Okay, so anyway, the thing is with fashion because I kind of work in fashion and I have modeled also, in case you don't know, um, I have been modeling for a um, local brand here and um, not for some time though because um, as I have seven children got got a little bit hard to get away you know but it was so much fun and maybe at some point I'm going to do like a chatty get ready with me talking a little bit about that topic um, I spoke about it at the very beginning of my channel but um, you know a lot of people have joined since then so thing is um, also working as a stylist, I of course have my own style, my own way of how I see colors, how I see patterns, how I like to mix stuff and things like this. So I really don't care what um, what the fashion industry tells me I should wear. I do not even go to normal stores. I personally don't because um, only if I just happen to walk by and see something that immediately catches my eyes. Other than that, I personally am very, very much into secondhand shopping because I feel stuff that has a history already is way more interesting for me. Also things that um, I don't know. First of all, also the price point is of course um, very, very intriguing that it's just so much cheaper. It also makes a, sen a lot of sense when it comes to, you know, nature and being, how does one say that, like recycle stuff basically or upcycle or whatever. You know, I'm absolutely for that. Um, and also I kind of feel like um, things that have already been in and fashionable and or considered fashionable or whatever in previous times and are not considered that anymore are just more interesting you know because it's kind of nice to be different 
and not do what everybody else does. So um, I'm very much into that. I am going, I don't know, maybe once every two months or something, I'm going to um, secondhand stores and just check out what they have. Not necessarily because I need anything, because I don't, but also because it this these are my days off where I declutter my brain and just spend them browsing through stuff in the secondhand store because uh, it's just a nice thing for me to do, you know? Okay, I didn't tell you the shade name. That was Faded. And now I'm going to go in with hot box and sort of deepen up this whole thing also. Okay, so style wise, uh, vintage fashion is definitely something that I absolutely vibe with, that I really, really like, and that I'm um, also, when I go to secondhand stores, that I always look for to get. Um, if I happen to stumble across it, you know, vintage fashion, then artsy fashion. <laughs> This is kind of unconventional stuff that is um, even also maybe a lot of homemade stuff, you know, um, combining uh, strange patterns and um, strange patterns and strange styles, not, not strange, but unusual, you know, um, styles and stuff like that. Um, I'm absolutely up for that because if you're, for example, following me on my Leora Styling uh, Instagram, you can see that I am uh, doing combinations that maybe not everybody else would naturally combine when it comes to my clothes and my wraps and all of these things. Then secondhand fashion I already spoke about, casual fashion, not my thing not my thing, also like tomboy, neighborhood girl kind of a fashion thing, I'm just not that, you know, like the, the girl next door, um, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm always dressed up, I don't even own a sweat, well, like sweatpants and stuff like this, I don't have that, um, not that those styles are necessarily meaning sweatpants, but uh, at all, but you know, this kind of relaxed, um, style kind of a thing I it's not me I'm always dressed up every single day of my life you know that's that's what I do that's what I that's how I feel good you know so um, grunge style fashion can be super 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 nice and um, same as same as gothic and and all of these styles can be super interesting um, of course I'm not too much into like wearing super dark colors and stuff like that but I get inspired definitely get inspired by seeing pictures of that and maybe also here and there using an idea from from that kind of a category you know what i mean so while it is in itself of course not necessarily me okay then what else do we have a chic fashion elegant evening wear i've done that it's not so much that's actually how my my husband wanted me to be um <laughs> He was up for a surprise when after a couple of years into the marriage, I completely changed my style. Completely. I should do another chatty get ready with me about that experience. Should I? Let me know. Okay, then what else? Bohemian fashion. Absolutely. Bohemian fashion. Absolutely my thing. Is this cool? I think this is gonna look cool. Um, absolutely my, my piece of cake. Then um, sexy fashion. <laughs> can't really do that because I am dressing modestly, as you know, because that is part of my religion and how I see my self-worth also. Um, but of course, I'm not against being sexy in that sense, because um, me for myself, I like to feel sexy. I like to feel attractive. I just don't want to parade it around because I think I personally, for myself, and please don't get offended if you feel differently about that, but I feel for me personally, my opinion, that um, there is a lot for me in that for what am I worth? Why do I need to parade around? Or even here on YouTube, you know? That's why I'm also not like sneak peeking my bra or whatever, you know? Um, <laughs> It's not happening here. So, um, because I feel like I'm worth so much more, I do not need to kind of um, sell myself like that. You know, I don't because I have everything. I don't need to do that. So, um, and certain things just belong to me and my husband and, and that's just how I see things. So, while I do believe that like m the models that model for sexy fashion, underwear, lingerie, um, whatever, you know, I'm not against all of this. It's beautiful. I wish I had those bodies or at least one of them. <laughs> 
you know, because I don't. I have given birth to seven children, you know, let's, let's face the truth, it's not, you know, you, you don't look like that after, after having had twins twice and who knows what, you know. So, um, but you know, that's real life. Real life check, uh, none of us really looks like those models and even those models probably don't look, look like that in real life, you know? Yeah. So anyway, but uh, that is, I like sexy fashion, but that is not something that I would parade around um, openly. That is something that belongs absolutely into my private life and absolutely just between me and my husband. Okay, then exotic fashion, absolutely into it um, very, very much. And that sort of goes also into, what, where was that, ethnic, ethnic fashion, because that is of course also um, a very, very interesting uh, thing to dive into. Of course, these days you have to be very, very careful because people get offended all the time, like, um, you know, if I would, for example, dress as um, someone from some tribe in Africa, for example, because it kind of lends itself to it because I'm also like sort of, you know, I'm wrapping my, my head. A lot of tribes have um, that, that tradition too, whatever, you know. Um, and uh, these days it is apparently a problem to just, you know, do stuff like that. But in general, I think I personally really, really like the idea of ethnic fashion. Um, to be safe, uh, one should stay with your own, um, I don't know, how does one say that? Ethnicity? Ethnicity? Or whatever, you know, where you, are, where you are born or where you are raised or whatever. But, which is kind of a shame because I feel like we're robbing ourselves of a lot. But that's just me. Okay, then um, what I also really, really like is um, cowgirl fashion, cowboy fashion. You know, these, these things that... Wait, I have an itch here. Um, these things, um, certain elements taken from um, from that world or military, you know, I'm totally into uniforms and stuff like this. Absolutely. So um, ideas and, and accents taken from that, absolutely up for it. Then trendy fashion is basically the last thing that I want to talk about because I'm, I already said it sort of at the beginning that I'm not into what is trending. I'm not following anybody um, for that reason because I don't want to know. I don't care. You know, I'm not following any big fashion magazine or big fashion, I don't know what, icons or whatever. I don't absolutely do not care what they do because I only exclusively do what I feel, you know? And that is basically what it, what it is. So I like to get inspired by all kinds of things, even also by nature or by who knows what, um, but I never, like, I, I, it's more like I stumble across it and then get an idea and then sometimes it also has to sit and boil a little bit for me to then start to act on it. But um, overall, I think I'm not um, not into trendy fashion because I'm uh, just not caring <laughs> in that. Okay, sweeties, in just a second, you will see the swatches. And then after that, you will, of course, if you want to uh, come back, see also the looks that I've already done with this beautiful palette. And I will then come back for the review part. And uh, that is that. So if you want to, you will see me in just a second with the finished look and the finished styling, as I already told you at the beginning of the video. And uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. my lovelies here we are with the finished look of course you just saw the swatches that I still have here and also you saw the other two looks that I have done with that palette now I hope first of all that you did enjoy the video me being chatty about that topic on camera I hope you did enjoy it and now of course uh, let's talk about this palette a tiny little bit because I really 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 enjoyed it okay so first of all you have a sleeve that looks identical to the the palette itself basically the back and the front you have the ingredients on the back it's cardboard packaging 
you have a mirror and you have of course shade names that are on theme with the palette basically okay now this is how the palette looks of course now I swatched the palette and it looks a little bit more messy but that's just real life right so we have of course 12 shades here we have a couple of greens we have a couple of neutrals we have a beautiful very very gentle gray which is such a nice addition to this palette and maybe you also saw in one of the looks that I included as pictures that I included that basically did a smoky eye gray and black and then had I believe it was this one on the lid and it was such a cool look it was so special you know so this is actually my personal highlight in the palette because it's kind of unexpected but it adds so much it adds another dimension to the palette which I personally really like performance wise I have to say that all of the shades performed really really well you do have three shimmers it's this one this one and this one everything else is mattes performance was really nice they also swatched okay I had to build them up a little bit but usually I have to do that the shimmers swatched super super well um, performance wise I think you also saw that they build up nicely they had a really really nice pigmentation there was no creasing there was no fading in any of the looks that I've done so far so this is the first time that I've tried this, this brand and I think this is a very very good solid formula that one can actually like really really enjoy you know I did I absolutely did I also think it's really really nice that they included a warmer brown and a cooler brown depending on what your preference is I've used them both they work very well I think the only shade that I have not used is this one everything else I have tried and um, I liked all of them you know I think what what would I change what would I change in the palette hmm maybe I would have I don't know I, it's hard to say maybe change this from being this cool toned green to being a dark just as dark but like a warm toned green because I'm just so so into warm greens because this maybe you can see that this is more like it has a bit of a blue undertone right makes it cool so I really really like to have a palette where there is like a dark 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 green that is warm though you know I don't know if it is hard to formulate that or something because I hardly have palettes where that is the case where I have these dark greens that are warm but I'm I mean, nevertheless I think you can see that it turned out to be a very very beautiful look you could also see hopefully how they build on top of each other really really well and even when I use them here on a set surface because of course my eyeshadow primer is never set um, I think you can also see that it worked there super super well yeah so that is basically uh, what I can tell you about this palette um, no staining obviously I don't think this um, this color scheme is very prone to staining <laughs> so that was really really good I also really like the performance of the black in I think two looks today and then the one that I did with the gray together um, I used the black and that was really really nice so with all of that being said what are my favorites in the palette of course the very very bright greens I think you can also see them here that would be this one and this one and this one they are definitely my favorites because it's just my heart and soul bright warm greens striking greens is absolutely my heart and soul I really like the performance and like really I mean I th think you also saw it in the other looks that I've done and also of course today that this was a good experience okay so let's just zoom in so you can uh, judge it maybe a little bit better also I forgot to do one thing on camera and that was the inner corner highlight I used this shade here this one this one as my inner corner highlight and I also used it as my highlighter here and here and here okay so that is a shade from the palette which you can of course always do and I like to do it because it just gives me more more use of the palette you know so yeah this is how it looks I also have a bright super bright green on my lower waterline that is from LA girl I do believe of course you will find everything that I have used uh, in the description box where I'm listing all the makeup okay so that is basically it I hope you will go and check out this brand this is the first time that I consciously um, heard about this brand when I saw this popping up on Instagram um, and I immediately fell in love with this palette because you know it's just 
uh, yeah and I didn't know that this would be coming to me I didn't know that the brand owner or whoever is in charge of social media had contacted me and told me that they want to send me something and I was like okay great thank you so much I'm happy to try your brand and then when I got the package and I saw it was actually this palette I was like yes you know because it's just it's just so me and also the combination between neutrals that are obviously in the palette and greens or colorful shades in general is just so so charming you can do so much with that and yeah um I had a good play time with that okay sweeties so this is basically what I wanted to do about reviewing this palette uh, looks will maybe be up already on my social media or they will come of course uh, this will be up on social media this watches so please if you are interested in seeing more then follow me on my Leora Cosmetics Instagram because this is where you get the most makeup content if that is your main focus and of course because we also spoke about styling and fashion if that is more your focus then of course you can also follow me on my Leora styling and everything is linked in the description box you will also find my discount codes with the different brands in there just check it out okay so that is that I hope you did enjoy the video I will now go and check out Angelica's video because I'm really really interested in seeing where she took that video you know because it was very very like a general idea that we sort of wanted to talk about and I'm you know the interpretation of each person how we interpret different topics and whatever or what it means to us is of course very very personal and I am really really uh, looking forward to seeing what she has to say about of all of that and also how her look turns out with the palette that she's using and all of that so please do that too once you're done here then please let's all head over to Angelica's channel and if you have not seen her before then well you will see her now and if you like it there then please subscribe to her too because that would just be awesome and it supports our small YouTube community which is really really important because you know it's a good place to be. Okay, if you're new here and maybe you have come from Angelica's channel, then please, if you want to and if you like it here, then please subscribe to my channel too because that would just be lovely. And I shall see all of you here next time for my next video, which is going to be super soon. And up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.